Welcome to the First Mentor Podcast. Here, you will hear us talk about a variety of topics for the entire family that will hopefully spark a discussion, create a new curiosity, or simply teach you something new. The goal is to inspire you to learn life skills and soft skills not taught in school and prepare you to live an extraordinary life. Come on and spend some time with us on your commute to school or anytime you're free. Hello, lovely mentees and family of mentees. This is your host, Vanessa Yang, along with her co-hosts, Ardino99 and Summer. And once again, we're thrilled to have you continue joining us on a journey of growth. Wow, this is already the second week of the first Mentor Podcast is officially on the air, so to speak. And we're starting it with episode eight. Today, we'll be speaking about creating memories as a family. We would love your support and would absolutely appreciate it if you could subscribe and help us spread the words with your friends and family. And also, please let us know in the review sections what topics you would like for us to cover in the future. And without further ado, here's our discussion for today. So let's dive right into our conversation today about how to create memories as a family. The first question I wanted to ask you both is, How do you enjoy spending time as a family and what makes it special? Why don't we start with you, Summer? Um, So for me personally, I love going out to do some activities. Uh, For example, mini golf, it's for testing our skills. And I'm a very competitive person, so this is really fun for me. Um, I love cooking together. We bake Christmas cookies as well as cakes, and I also love going to the amusement park. It's enjoyable, it's exciting, and it creates many fun memories. Okay, great. Thank you. What about you, Ardino99? I enjoy, uh, with the family, I enjoy playing board games. It's really fun playing board games. It's enjoyable, and we have a great bonding time. Another thing I like to do as well is when going on vacation. It's fun exploring with everyone and we make memories together and we explore new areas and learn new things. Thank you for sharing. So we've done many great things together as a family and I wanted to know what was your most memorable experience so far? Why don't we start with Ardino 99 this time? One of my most memorable vacations was Cancun. It was a very fun experience. One of the very exciting things that we went was when we went swimming with dolphins. It was very exciting. It was the first time I saw dolphins and swimming with it. It was very amazing and the feeling was great. Okay. I remember that moment too. Um, It was scary, but also very fun, although quite short. So what about Sama? What was your most memorable experience so far? Um, So during our summer break, we went on a road trip to Arizona. We visited many places and the most memorable place was Zion. So we went hiking and we got caught in a flash flood. Uh, The water was up to our ankles when we first got into the water, but then five minutes later, it was almost up to our um, hips, and it was crazy. We almost died. It was very memorable, very scary, but I'm glad we got out of there alive. Yes, and do you remember the weather when we drove back to our hotel, where it was just pouring cats and dogs? Oh my god. Yes, and lots of thunders and storms, so that was definitely on my list as well. I know as siblings, you guys fight a lot, which is very normal. I used to do that too with my brother when we were growing up. But when you actually have fun together, what do you enjoy doing together? Okay, so our Dino99 here loves to play games. Um, One of the uh, video games we play is Murder Mystery 2 on Roblox. So basically the game is if you're an innocent person, you're trying to run away from the murderer. And um, there was one time. Oh yeah, this one time it was really like, like 
it was really shocking. So we were running around, and then the murder was on the third floor of the hotel. And then they jumped down, and、mm. then they murdered us. Dun dun dun! It's quite exciting that we all both screamed out loud. It was really funny. Okay. Besides playing games or video games, so to speak, anything else you enjoy doing together? I also enjoy when me and my sister sword fight. We use the soft weapons that we used to use, and we go around the backyard and we start playing around and hitting each other. Oh, you like to hit each other. <laughs> As a mother, it's obviously very important that we do things together with the entire family. But I also think it's very important that we do things one on one, meaning just me and Summer, or just me with Ardino ninety nine. And we've done several things over the years, but looking back at all those activities together, which one do you enjoy the most, and why? Who wants to start? Um, I'll start. Okay. So, um, with my mom, I love doing one on one time going to Disneyland. It's just really fun, just creating memories there. Disneyland is <laughs> the happiest place on earth.、Um, my first concert was an Ariana Grande concert, and my mom took me there. It was really loud, but then it was really fun to just sing along with songs, dance with my mom.、Um, with, Do you remember how old you were at that time? I'm not sure. Was I about? You were seven years old. I remember old. clearly.、Wow. And back then, that was several years ago, right? And you were a huge Ariana Grande fan, and we've never been to a concert. But I thought you would be excited to see her in person. But I thought it was really interesting that all you said was "it's really loud." <laughs> <laughs> so, anything else? Um, with my dad, um, I love camping and playing basketball. That's it's just lots of laughs. <laughs> Okay. Anything you want to share, Ardino ninety nine? Ah, with my mom, I really enjoy. Sometimes we go to Color Me Mine and we get some pottery and we paint them. What, It's what, really enjoyable. Yes. What was the last one you painted? Do you remember? The last one I painted, I'm pretty sure, was. I think it was an owl coin jar. Yes, yes. very good, Summer. It was.、Uh, it's my new piggy bank, and I painted it, and I put my money inside.、Mm. It's really good. enjoyable. Good, good. I also took piano classes with my mom. It was fun. It was really good bonding time, and we learned piano together.、Mm-hmm. With my dad, I enjoy playing games because my dad helps me, and it's really fun. <laughs> Yes, he helps you advance, doesn't he? Both gaming ex- experts. Yep. As difficult as it is, probably for you both to remember, I used to be young too, <laughs> and I reflect back on the memories that I created with my parents and brother, which are your grandparents and your uncle, obviously. And what really sticks out to me as I think about my memories that I created with my parents were really vacation and trips that we took together. Although not all of them were dream vacations, but there were so many memorable ones. As of this recording, unfortunately, it's summer break during COVID nineteen, so we can't have a vacation. We have to cancel it. But I still think it's really important to create those memories. So hopefully, we can go back after this pandemic to take more trips together.、Um, But we have done many, many trips and vacations together. You guys mentioned a few earlier, but let's talk a little bit more about trips and vacations. Which one do you remember the most, and why?、Uh, Ardino ninety nine. Ah, some of the trips that I remember the most. One of them was Sea World. Sea World was memorable. It was my first time going. There was some rides there, and that's where I saw. Whales. Yes, and do you remember we bought you a plush? And what do you name your plush? I named it Orky. Right.、Yes. You really wanted Orky when we went to the store. You really wanted to bring him home, so we got you one. I also got a dolphin. You got a dolphin. That's right. That we won from a game. 
surprise. <laughs> oh, I didn't remember that. Good. <laughs> We had to spray those water guns into the hole. The fastest one to shoot it in wins. Oh, very good. Woo! Um, so my favorite um, vacation was, I think I was about 10 or 11. We went on a Disney cruise. It was just really memorable just to go on a Disney cruise. It was really exciting. The... Um, the water slide, taking pictures, the food was great too. Since my parents, they need their own time, we were stuck in the, what was it, the kids? The Oceaneers Club? Yes, or the, kids the club? Oceaneers Club. For some weird reason, both Ardino99 and I, we both hate it there. <laughs> so that was really bad for us, but... And Overall, everyone kid, else loved it. I know, you guys are pretty much the only kid I've ever heard of who actually complained about the Disney Kids Club or Oceaneers Club <laughs> because all my friends' kids didn't want to leave and you guys were the only one who felt abandoned there. <laughs> all, we, <laughs> all we wanted was a nice meal, <laughs> peace and quiet, so I think we deserve that one. Yes, but overall, that was really exciting. Okay. Def- the magician was great. You, and you wanted to add something, Ardina99? I saw you raise your hand. Uh, one of my very memorable vacations was when we went to Australia. That was fun. Very exciting. Yeah. Uh, at, in the first, in the beginning, I got really jet lag. It was like I was so awake at night, but so sleepy in the morning <laughs> for like the first day. But then after that, we had some great times. One of them was when we got to feed kangaroos. We went to a kangaroo area, and we saw kangaroos for the first time. Yes, that was your wish for years. I remember even two or three years before we went to Australia, you always, I don't know how you got the idea from, but you always mentioned that you want to pet a kangaroo and feed one, and your wish finally (laughs) finally came true. I know, he actually wanted to bring one home. It was really fun. We ha- we were bringing lots of food and we fed lots of kangaroos. We we store our container to store the food to bring it to was my jacket's hoodie. Yes, because we didn't bring a container, right? And they provided free, free food that we were able to take and feed to the kangaroos, but we didn't know where to put it. So we had to be creative and just use the hoodie of your jacket. <laughs> Whatever works, right? That was quite exciting. Another thing that I find important for us as a family is to create unique traditions. So I know cultures have their own traditions, so families should have their own as well. So some of the examples I can think of of traditions we have created is, for example, during the holidays, we create a photo holiday card. So every year we look at what we've done, pictures we've taken of the entire year and select what represented that year. And we put it into cards and share with our friends and family. It's not just for them, but it's also a very good reminder for us over the years of what we've done and how you guys looked like when you were at a certain age, right? (laughs) And the other thing I've started is with the, the, the age right now, all the pictures you take are digital. So you take the pictures and they're probably stuck on your phone or on the computer, so you never really see it. So what I ended up doing is really select a lot of the pictures and create vacation photo books. It also helps us as parents to kind of remember how fast you go, how little you were when we went to a certain locations. So it's always very fun for us to grab a book from several years ago from a particular trip and review it and kind of walk down memory lane to remember all the great things we've done together. And um, other traditions that I try to implement, which we have only been partially successful about, so not quite consistent yet, is, um, for example, having a Sunday brunch. I really enjoy kind of everybody waking up late, but then together as a family, we have like really a feast with really great food on Sundays. Sometimes we bake. And as a kid myself, I remembered baking and decorating Christmas cookies at my friends' homes. So that's something I really enjoy doing and I also want to implement with my own family. 
So that being said, I shared a lot about some of the ideas I had or things we started implementing already. So I wanted to ask both of you if you have any ideas about any traditions that a family that we could start. So Ardino 99, anything comes to mind? Okay, so uh, for the past few years, we have been going to Las Vegas every single summer. We would go to the hotel, we would uh, go around, and we would go outside every day and go to the pool and have lots of fun. Oh, yes. It's exciting with our friends, and it's really enjoyable, and since it's every year, it's like the exciting moment of every year. Oh, that's something you look forward to. I know we've been doing this with the same two families for the last few years, right? So it's indirectly become a tradition for us. <laughs> so how about you, Summer? Any ideas from your end? Um, so for traditions, possibly um, every other week on Fridays, we would have like a family game night or something. I think that's really fun to just sit on our dining table and just grab like a few board games, just play and have fun. Great. Yes. I think we've done this before, right? So these are really, really good ideas. Thank you both for sharing your ideas. Wow, we've talked a lot about creating memories as a family and this being the very first podcast we record together. This is a challenge to ourselves to learn how to speak, try to explain things better and really recalling memories that we created. <laughs> Improvising. Yes, really, really good job. Thank you both for joining me in this. Bravo, clap people. And also, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and... Also, um, this is a podcast, not YouTube. Oh. Thank you so much for tuning in to our amazing podcast. Yes, I know. I'm amazing. Oopsies. So are these two people, you know? <laughs> Thanks yeah. for giving us <laughs> It's the first time. Okay, bye-bye. Have bye. a good day, everybody. Although this was the first actual podcast we recorded together, we most certainly had to work on improving our skills of speaking into the microphone afterwards. But I wanted to lead by example, be brave, and share it with the world anyway. My message to you is that we all start something in our lifetime that we're not so good at from the get-go. The key is to do it anyway, and learn from it afterwards, instead of just waiting until perfection before even getting started. In the past, whenever I was afraid to be vulnerable and too scared to even try. I just let too much time pass, and as a result, I didn't get better, right? I mean, how can you learn a new skill if you never start, correct? What I have learned to do instead is to start with the imperfect version of me anyway and see how I can improve from there. So this is my challenge to you now. What will you try today, even though you think you're not good at it? Think about it. Talk with your family, make yourself accountable, and remember to start anyway.